Today, I'm going to show you a powerful feature in Google Ads that you need to be using, automated rules. I'll walk you through how to use them, how to set them up, and I will show you the eight best automated rules that I recommend running in your account. So stick with me today, and by the end of this video, you're going to be able to get better results in Google Ads whilst saving a ton of time. Let's dive in. All right, well, first up, let's actually just show you where to actually find the automated rules. And I've got some handy tips for you here as well. So to get to automated rules, what you wanna do is you want to click on tools and settings, and then click here under bulk actions, it will say rules, click on that, and then you'll come to this page here. If you're on the new interface, I'm using the old interface, but if you are on the newer interface, there's going to be a section called bulk actions. You're just gonna find it somewhere on the left sidebar instead of up in here. But yeah, you're looking for the bulk actions and then rules is what you're looking for. And then you will get to a page that is exactly like this. On the new interface, the page works exactly the same. It's just located in a different place. And to create a new rule, you click the plus box here. And then you can see all these options of types of rules that you can create. So when you click on an option, you come through to the rule screen. You've got your name up here. You've got an account selector here where you can make sure that you're set to the correct account that you want to create a rule for. This section here is where you will actually create the action and filters and the conditions that you want that actually trigger the rule. And then you'll have a frequency section down here where you can choose daily, hourly, weekly, monthly, whatever you want really. Uh, you can set it for a specific time to run and then you can get emails if there are any changes or errors. So one thing I wanted to tell you is that I highly recommend that you leave the emails on. You don't need to have the emails switched on every time the rule runs, but in most cases you are going to want to make sure that you are getting emails when there are changes or errors and you want to actually look at those changes or errors when you get the email because if you don't keep constantly updated on what your automated rules are doing there can be situations where like there's a rule triggered that's maybe out of date you don't want that rule anymore and if you're not on top of this you could easily lose track of that and it could mess up your account so do this smartly do it with caution make sure the emails are always switched on when you're running automated rules and also every time before you actually save a new rule do click the preview button here and then the system will do a preview run of the rule without actually changing anything and it will show you what it would have done if it was running the rule for real so you always want to preview and you always want email results so preview before saving once you're sure that the rule is working the way you want it to then you can save the rule. But let's dive into my actual recommended rules. And first up, you can stop Google overspending your daily budget. So there's, this is actually two rules. You want to pause campaigns when they hit a certain amount and then turn campaigns on the next day. So why this is handy is, uh, as you may know, whatever daily budget you put on your campaign in Google Ads, the system can actually overspend that by quite a lot. What the system does is it allows you to overspend on a given day by up to 200%. It can double your ad spend, right? And what it does is it just makes sure that your average over 30 days adds up to whatever your daily budget was, but spread out over a month, right? So it, it averages out on a month, but for some of us, we really don't want the system to double the spend on any given day. So this rule here allows you to actually make your daily budget a hard and fast daily budget and stop Google from just overspending on any given day. So it's useful in some circumstances where we have constraints in the business that mean that we literally cannot allow the system to spend that much on any given day. So to set this rule up here, what you want to do is, it's going to be a campaign rule and we're going to name it pause overspend campaigns and we want to select the appropriate campaigns in here so you can do selected campaigns you can select the campaigns you want this to apply to let's just do one campaign for now select your campaign and then conditions we are going to want to add a condition. Oh, there we go. And 
cost. So let's say we don't want to spend more than 500 bucks on a given day. So pause the campaign if the cost goes above 500. And then you would want to set this to daily. Actually, you would want to set it to hourly. You want this running every hour so that it reacts very quickly if you overspend. And then you would want to use data from today. So you run that hourly and then if today's cost ever goes above 500, the rule will then automatically pause your campaign. You save that one and then you need to create a second rule to turn the campaign back on the next day. So to create the second rule to re-enable my paused campaigns, we'd create a new rule and we call it re-enable paused campaigns. And then what you want to do is you want to come to your actions here. You want to make sure that the same campaign is selected and you want to make sure that that same cost threshold is still on there. So remember, in this example, we were saying 500 bucks was my spend threshold. So if this campaign spent 500 bucks yesterday, yesterday, then action would be enable campaigns. So we're using the same threshold. Make sure you select the same campaign. And what we change though, is we use data from yesterday and then change the action to enable. So now we have a rule that's going to pause this campaign if it hits my spend threshold and re-enable it for me tomorrow when it can start running again. Oh, and of course we need to change this. So this is gonna happen daily and then we'd probably set it to like early in the morning, right? So that it runs throughout the day and has it advertising at all the good hours of the day once again. Next up, we have turning your ads on or off for your sale. So if you have a sale or promotion coming up and you've got promotional ad copy that you want switched on at a specific date in your account, then you can use this rule. And it's actually a two part rule because first you need to turn the ads on. And then after that, you're going to want to pause your ads when the sale is over. So to do this, what we do is we create a ad rule. And the first part of the rule is going to be enable sale ads and then we want ads in our selected account and we want to add a condition for text so add text contains and then what you can put in here is any text that is specific to the ad copy for your sale ads so let's say my sale ads all mention my 25 percent off sale so i choose a specific text string that is specific to your sale ads, put it in there as a condition, and then you want to enable those ads, and then you want to set the frequency to just once and set the date to the exact date that you want your sale to go live on, and then set the time to nice and early in the morning. Only if there are errors or changes, yep, that's fine. Save this one, always preview before you save, but save this rule, and then in order to create the second part of this overall rule, what you want to then do is create a new rule, and then you want to say pause sale ads, and the conditions are gonna be exactly the same, the ads that have that specific text string, and it's gonna be once again, but this time we just change the date to whenever my sale ends, maybe end of that day save that and now we've got automatic ads that are going to switch on when my sale starts and then switch off as soon as my sale is over next up pause high spend no conversion keywords okay so we don't want keywords just spending a bunch of money and not getting us any conversions whatsoever so what we would do is pause no conversion keywords and then under actions apply to keywords in the selected account and for the action what we want to do is set up a condition for first of all a cost threshold so put in something that makes sense for you in your account so for this case I might do 300 and add a condition for conversions Ooh, so you can actually search here and it helps if you spell correctly in your search 
So let's say, oh, we want keyword condition conversion. So when you've got multiple options like this, just make sure you've selected the right one. So I don't want the campaign conversions or the ad group conversions. This is a keyword rule. So we're going to do keyword conversions and we're going to do less than 0 0.1, something like that. You can't actually just do equals zero, but less than 0 0.1 captures it pretty nicely. So we'll apply that and now we've got the right conditions and what we want to do is pause the keywords and we want to run that daily. Yeah, daily is good, maybe a bit earlier in the day. So I recommend running your daily rules a little bit before you start work for the day. So that way, when you get your emails, you can check what was done. Only if there are changes or errors, preview, then save. So there you have it. Okay. Number four, pause low performing keywords. So this one is very similar to the previous one, but with just a slightly different performance threshold. So what we might do here is pause low performance forming keywords and then what we might want to do is do a slightly higher threshold so like let's say maybe they've spent at least 600 but let's get rid of conversions so the previous rule was for those that haven't converted at all but we also want a rule for keywords that are converting but just like really really badly so you need to know your targets and thresholds in your account but for this account i might go conv value per cost so keyword condition conv value per cost and i might say that if my return on ad spend was less than one and it has spent over 600 bucks then i'm unhappy with that and then i want it to pause keywords again daily is good before you wake up and get started for the day and preview then save before number five let me just let you know about this the e-commerce google ads checklist which you can find at checklist.bigflare.com so if you like the stuff that i'm sharing here on this video with you you might be interested to know that i have condensed my team and i's entire 10 plus years of knowledge and skill in running e-commerce Google Ads, and I've condensed it into a checklist, which you can get from this URL here. So let's have a little look at what the checklist looks like. So basically this tells you how to build and optimize high performing, high return on ad spend Google Ads campaigns for e-commerce. It looks a little bit like this. There are tabs here for like goals, account, shopping ads, performance max, search ads, retargeting ads, automation tools and scripts. And this this is the exact set of processes that my team and I used to make $40 million in revenue for our clients per year. So you're getting my entire process and all the items are actionable checklist items and every item has a full SOP document that actually shows you how to do the thing as well. So check this.bigflare.com. I'll put a link down below in the description of this video. All right, back to my meat and potatoes for today. And number five on the list is monthly budget for a group of campaigns. So what you want to do with this one is you want to create a rule that is a campaign rule. Call it something like monthly budget for campaigns and you want to select the exact campaigns that this should apply to create a condition and search for cost and let's say the budget I want to use is 10k so if these campaigns spend more than 10k in my time period we are going to pause the campaigns and what we want to do is probably run this hourly but using data from this month so if the spend ever goes past that point for this month it's just going to pause those campaigns and then give me an email to tell me that that has happened and then what I would probably do is manually resume the campaigns next month when I'm ready to advertise once again or indeed you could you set up a rule to auto enable the campaigns on the beginning of next month as well if you so wish but there you have it preview then save and now we are making sure these particular campaigns stay within that monthly budget lower budget for the weekends okay so for some of us lowering budget on the weekends might be important 
For example, maybe we just get less sales on the weekend or maybe your service business and no one's there to answer the phone on the weekends. So in this case, we create a campaign rule and we call it lower budget on weekend. And we select the campaigns that we want it to run on. And the action is going to be change budgets, decrease budget. So maybe we're going to decrease the budgets by 50% on the weekend and then what you want to do is run that weekly on a Saturday at early in the morning. So weekly Saturday, lower the budget by 50%, save rule. And then of course, what you're going to want to do is create the opposite rules so that on Monday in the morning, the budgets get raised back up once again. So a lot of these budget management rules, you need to create the opposite rule to readjust the budget back to wherever it was before the change was made. Uh, but with that dual part rule, you can then have lower budgets on the weekends, but higher budgets on the weekdays. Days. Increase budget for high performing campaigns. Okay, so once again, this is a campaign rule and we'll call it increase budgets for high performing campaigns. And in this case, we're probably just going to run it on all my campaigns and we'll add a condition such as conv value cost. So let's say if my return on ad spend is greater than, let's say six, then I will want to change budgets, increase budget, and maybe we'll just do small increases like 10% at a time, 15% at a time. And what we can then do is set that to run daily, but use data from, let's say the past 30 days. And then each day it's going to check. And if your ROAS was like well above your performance benchmarks, then it will just nudge the budget up a little bit. And actually, if we're gonna run it every day, then I might actually just change that to be even lower because you don't want to be doing big increases every day and then like this way if you're overperforming then it's just going to slowly nudge up your budgets and then if it ever stops overperforming let's say it goes down to 5.9 then the increases stop and it just kind of settles at that level finally on my list lower budget for lower performing campaigns so the flip side of this or the opposite version of the same rule is going to be named decrease budgets for low performing campaigns. And what we're going to do here is campaigns in my selected account. And this time we're going to say return on ad spend is less than say two. And if that is the case, then we want to decrease the budget by let's say 10%. And then set that at your desired frequency, emails, if there are changes or errors and you are done. So earlier in the video, I mentioned my e-commerce Google Ads checklist. Now, if that was interesting to you, you might actually like to check out this video up here where I deep dive the most important lessons that I learned while creating that checklist. I learned a lot and I made a big fail when I was building the checklist as well. So if that sounds interesting to you, head on over to this video up here.